Creating a vacuum in your system lets you do two things. One, make sure that you didn't miss an O-ring during the assembly process. And two, it reinforces all the mechanical closing mechanisms of the housing. So when you find yourself in rough surf, you'll notice that all of the components are being pulled together by that vacuum differential. Let me show you how to create a vacuum inside your housing and how to check for leaks. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is push the push button on the valve and that's gonna release the plug. It's tethered so that you don't lose it. And you're gonna replace that plug with the barbed insert of your vacuum pump. You'll notice that when you push in, you will hear it click and the button will push out, indicating that it has engaged. And what we're gonna do is use the hand pump to create the vacuum itself. When creating a vacuum, the number that you choose on the gauge isn't as critical as the fact that the gauge is not changing. If the needle is dropping, that means that we are leaking somewhere and that means that you're going to have a leak in the water. So I generally like to go to about 10 on the gauge and initially I keep an eye to make sure that we aren't dropping immediately. I won't do the long test like this, but I do like to do a visual inspection. As soon as I create a vacuum, I notice that I don't have it dropping as we've created the vacuum, so it's initially good to go. But I don't want to test the vacuum pump and tube to test because that's not what I'm gonna be diving with. So what I'll end up doing is I'll make note, I went to 10, I'll remove the barbed hose and I will replace it with the plug. I'm gonna let this sit for 10 to 20 minutes if I don't have a situation where I can leave it overnight, which would be ideal. I will often shoot every or put everything together. I'm gonna let it sit overnight. And then the next morning before I leave, I'll check to make sure that I was at 10. Again, that way it sat overnight under that pressure, but at least 10 to 15 minutes so you can check your system hasn't dropped in that time frame. Uh, one question I get a lot is, do I dive with my system under a vacuum? The answer is absolutely yes. You want to dive with your system under a vacuum. It's fully pressure proof and that lets you reinforce all of the closing mechanisms of the housing. So if you find yourself in shallow water and rough surf, you'll have that reinforcement uh, to know that everything is secure. So after I've let it sit, ideally overnight, but 10 to 15, 20 minutes, um, I'll take the barb. Again, I always make sure I replug the valve because you don't want to dive or get in the water without this plug being inserted into the valve. So I make it a habit if I'm putting something in, I'm always taking something out or vice versa. I'll take the barb of the pump, place it in, and you'll notice that as soon as you do that, it should jump right back to where you were. In this case, I jumped right back to 10, which is where we started, indicating that this held a vacuum for that time period. If you notice that this did not go back to where you came from, that could be an indication that you have a leak or a compromised system, and it gives you the opportunity to really investigate and diagnose where that leak is occurring so that you don't experience that in the water. I'll take this off of here and replace the plug, and I'm ready to get in the water with my system. Now, in the event that you have to open your system at the end of the day, you have two options. You can reinsert the barb and the pump into the valve, and use the release button on your pump and that will release the vacuum in the housing. If you don't have access to this, let's say you're on a boat, you left this behind, and for some reason, like you left a lens cap on, let's say, and you desperately need to get in here, you can take a blunt object like a pen and press the white depression button here that will release the vacuum and let you have access to your camera inside. Note that you do not necessarily need a vacuum to go into the housing because the housing is waterproof unto itself. So it would allow you to do that in that scenario. Uh, if you have any questions whatsoever about this installation or application, please drop us a comment down below or feel free to shoot us an email to iglide at iglide.com.